father uh, for the i'm i'm in a little bit out about uh, about question could you please tell me how to deal with about question about question means uh, tell me what's your good name uh, my name is ayomi ayomi right ayomi ayomi yeah now tell me something about ayomi i am asking uh, uh, jesse or uh, nisha okay nisha is smiling so i am asking nisha tell me something about uh, ayomi yeah or i am asking now ayomi is admitted in the hospital where nisha joseph is nurse in charge in the ward where nisha joseph is nurse in charge ayomi is suffering from some problem now when i ask tell me something about ayomi's problem or ayomi's condition what will she say okay i can say that ayomi uh, she has admitted due to fever and i can say that ayomi she has been admitted due to fever and call but now she is recovering from that disease okay that is excellent means about ayomi means some problem about ayomi some problem about icu some problem about blood pressure monitor about means they are speaking about that particular thing so singular okay singular and sometimes you will find among the options three options are plural and one is singular okay they are asking about a particular one blood pressure monitor then options one says it is not working properly because of interference of other technical equipments in the ward one option okay second option says they are not working properly due to some other reasons third option says uh both of the systems are not working properly fourth option says all the systems are in trouble they both all and it, it three are it plural yeah, one is singular yeah so what will be the answer it is singular it is singular singular, yes, yeah. singular will be the answer okay what is the aim of the treatment plan main aim okay overall aim not a single aim overall aim is it pain relief okay and restoring feelings in his arm or treating the side effects of an op operation you know if you remember i have told you the first one is a particular one second one is a particular one third one is generic one side if i scan include vein relief and uh, numbness all those things right if there are particular ones and one generic one generic one will be the answer if there are two generic ones and one particular then particular one will be the answer do you understand overall explain on my father see father, they are asking for the overall i have explained this several times they are asking for the overall aim of the treatment plan not a particular a partial aims overall aim of the treatment plan pain could be one of the side effects right one side effect numbness restoring feelingness feelings in his arm means there are, there is some numbness cannot feel so numbness could be one side effect option a one side effect option b one side effect option c many side effects so option c is known as generic means a collective one option a and b singular ones when there are two singular and one collective collective will be the right answer if there are two collectives and one singular most often the one singular one is the right answer did you get me yes father yes father yeah so this is another strategy which i have several time explained to you and look into these things that's why i said you have to spend time analyzing the question so what i am telling telling you pain relief pain could be one of the effects of side effects okay which is considered in the treatment plan the phenomenon could be 
ऑप्शन बी नंबरनेस हैविंग नो फीलिंग्स इन हिज थंब कुड बी वन साइड इफेक्ट बट ओवरऑल एम ऑफ द ट्रॉल ट्रीटमेंट प्लान कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटिंग वन साइड इफेक्ट इट शुड बी ट्रीटिंग ऑल द साइड इफेक्ट्स राइट ओवरऑल एम ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट प्लान ओवरऑल फुल प्लूरल सो व्हाट कुड बी द आंसर ऑपरेशन So as I said, three uh, question is asking about someone's opinion. Four options. One option is a factual statement. Three options are opinions. You can make out from the hedging words. Then what will be the answer? Factual statement. Factual, factual statement. statement. So that way, uh, actually, all these uh, competitive exams are smart work, not hard work. You should be able to differentiate. That's why I said you have to spend more time on question stem and answer options than the you the time you spend on the text. Okay. Father, now now change the mind. Earlier we think about uh, it's a hard work. Ah, it is a smart work, and usually more mostly you have the problem that you don't you just glance to the question stem and answer options and go to the text for answers. No, you have to understand. and i'll tell you 40% of the questions you can answer with even without looking at the text if you really understand the question and answer options i have taught you many strategies on that and when you distinguish between hedging words when you find out hedging words try to find out whether there are some absolutes whether there are some singular plural plural and uh, find out whether there is fact and opinion options find out whether there are opposites all these will help you to immediately eliminate wrong ones even without going into the text i am is that clear about about questions yes father that's right yes. thank you so much yeah. welcome most welcome this what you have to ask saying, father huh? if you are giving such a example means we never forget from our mind it will stuck in the heart it is yeah. easy to uh, it, it is easy to remain in next day while we are doing the practice Yes. Thank you for yeah. this great explanation. Yeah, yeah.